This is a Warhammer 40k lesson with the man 957. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to run in the shooting phase. And particularly how to use Mega Armor in when you're playing with Works. Which is basically the same. Okay, so basically what to do. I'm going to start with running. Now, let's assume I don't want to shoot in the shooting phase, but instead I just want to move a second turn. Anyway, that's basically what it is. Now, if you decide to shoot with the rocket launcher, then you shoot it. You can't run, and if you run, you can't shoot. That means you can't even check the range for the uh, rocket launcher or any weapon, because that indicates that you are indeed trying to shoot. And if it's not in range, you miss. So you have to make a decision, and you can't really measure before you shoot in the real war store. I guess that's why that's a rule. So, they're gonna assume they can hit, and then they do, and whatever, they make a wound. And, they, and then, the, so that doesn't take the whole board away from running. Another squad can still run. So basically what you do, is you take a d6, roll it. Whatever that says, that's how many inches you get to move. So that's four inches. That's four inches. Alright. Now, with Mega Armor, it's basically the same thing except it's just a tiny bit different. It's like twin linked Mega Armor. I guess you could call it twin linked armor, I guess, but. Um, basically what you do is you run, it's basically what you use the rules for run, except you roll two dice. This is what happens. Now it has a slow and purposeful rule, which means it rolls two d6s, and you get to pick which one. You take the highest one out of there, which is a five, as you can see. See? It's kind of hard to see, but it's a five. Alright. So I get to move five inches. War boss, or just assuming it's a mega arms war boss and the knobs don't have it. Since you're moving five inches, it still has to stay in coherency with the others. So it can move six and still be one inch off, which is still in coherency because two coherency is two inches. Or if you want, it could move four or three and still be in coherency. Otherwise, it is out of coherency. Or it can just move five. You can just move with it. Now, you have a mega armed thing that's squatted with the things that aren't at mega armor and then move normally. It's smart to put the mega armor in the back just to make it a little more confused, less confusing, okay? I didn't really set it up wisely though before I made this video. Alright, so you need to get to move six inches. And they're gonna match up with the war boss. Right there. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay, now, this has been a Warhammer 40k lesson with the man 957. Thank you for watching, and I definitely apologize for not having many videos in lately. It's because I've been, you know, kind of out of ideas, you know, I've done most of the stuff that's really basic facts, so um, I'm going to be trying to come up with ideas, I guess my next video will be uh, how to assault, I know I had one posted up a little while ago, but I was missing a step and some of the factors to it, alright, and